pretty good. Hello, man. Hello, Tom. Hello, man. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can probably tell, I'm outside of my comfort zone of Tonbury. Yes, I'm in the big, bad city of Bangkok, an assault to be precise. But today, there's no Terminal 21 food court reviews. That ship has sailed. Today, we are moving on to your next level of street food in the city. We are at Ruam Sub Market, a hyper popular, very, very busy market in the center of Bangkok absolutely jam-packed full of food you're not going to believe how big this place is just by looking from the outside and you're not going to believe how much food's here and just how many people are here at lunch let's go all right guys but before we do anything as you know i need a coffee there's a little speciality coffee shop i've got my eye on in the market let's go oh i'll latte on that so latte, 80 baht, starts at 80 baht. Slow bar, 100. I like this little spot. So I might. All right, get down here, guys. This looks like a good cup. Oh, look, paper cup, paper lid as well. So we're, not, we're even saving the planet. Do you know what? Sometimes I forget that some people don't want to be filmed. Like I just, I just started doing some B-roll. I was like, oh, yeah, there's loads of other coffee shops here, and this guy, other Farang, just like jumped down his skin. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm in your, I'm in your shot. So uh, yeah, I forget that there's other foreigners here who sometimes don't want to be on YouTube. Um, you know, as much as I love these cups for the environment's sake, they are quite hard to drink out of. That's solid, solid, very well made. I know some of you only come in here for food and you don't come on here to hear me waffling about coffee, but for a house blend, that's up there for me. An 80 bar in the middle of Asok, not bad at all. Unbelievable consistency on the milk there. That's a solid cup to start our day. Enough of the coffee, let's get some street food. So it's not just food, loads of stuff in here got phones loads of clothes all sorts of bits and pieces so many coffee shops i can't even explain to you we've got shoes we've got trainers or sneakers for my american viewers bundles of clothes and you've got this bit in the middle selling like sweets and sausages and all sorts of bits and pieces Everything you'd expect, I've had a little walk around, everything you'd expect from a Thai market, loads of different food stalls, loads of fresh produce, fresh fruit. Guys, I can't even get my head around how busy this place has got so quickly. I got here about half an hour ago maybe, and there was not a single person. Well, not there was about four people in the food court, right? I'll put some footage over the top now, and look how many people have descended upon this place. And it's not even lunchtime, it's like 11.30. All right guys, so moral of the story is, don't come here at lunchtime. Come, come, come. Wondering who that random woman is. She, uh, she was the one, a minute ago she told me where to get Alright, so we've got a cow gang shop here. We've got loads of food here, guys, and it is starting to get busy, busy, busy. This actually looks really, really good. This is Pad Kapao, Pad Kimao, Pad Cha, so anything stir fried, really, and spicy. Alright, that's an option for sure, but I actually wanted to go for something a little bit more old school. And that lovely lady back there, the one that was waving at us, told me about a cow soy and nam niao stall. You, you, Jang, what day now? Chiang Rai, no? Cup? Tina? Tina? Chiang Sen, no? Ah, cup, 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 blue jack, blue jack. I like. Lum tea suit. Okay, I'll I'll lap. Lap kua. Yak, no? Gang ho. Gang ho? Okay, I'll I'll cup. Cup say guy, no? Cup. Me, how can Jin, man? 
วันพุธอ่าโอเควันพุธวันเดียวโอเคสเตฟานี่ก็ได้วันเดียร์เดวิกไม่เอาข้าวสวยนะเอาเอาน้ำเหนียวนะครับโอ้ลักษณะดัตส์ลักลำแต่แต่ร้อยสี่สิบทุกอย่างนะโอ้โหไม่แพงขอบคุณครับ Right, I've just asked her about spoons. They're right behind me. All right, you can dip it in. Ah, uh... huh. you know what? This is e it, this never gets any easier doing this with one hand, right? All right, some chopsticks. Chopsticks. Right, and the reason I needed that is because I need to try this first before I start sticking stuff in it. What I do need, I'm going to need a little bit of lime. Very rich. Very, very rich. Very nice. I'm going to take two limes. And then we're going to get some of this. Pit. Pit kwa. Pit pit. Pit pit. Pit pit. Pit pit. Pit ชอบเพชรนะเพชรมากไม่เพชรไม่อร่อยนะไม่อร่อย All right he's worried about me All right guys this one's g e n g hot and this is quite a sort of rare one but not a lot of people know it so it's mixed veg we got some some green beans some cabbage we got some pickled n o r m a i which is Bamboo, which gives it a real sort of sour kick. Some, some pork, some pork belly, and that is all stir-fried with glass noodles and some pak dong. And I'll tell you the story about this in a sec. But it's like a leftover dish. We've got red chili in there as well, but this is a leftover dish. Then we've got the lap k u a or lap m u n g which is a northern lap. Lap means to means to chop finely. This is a quote-unquote salad. We've got chopped-up intestines. We've got some liver in there. We've got pork mince or ham mince pork, or ham chopped pork. We've got some dried chilies. I put the k a p m o r which is the crunchy pork skin, on top. Fried garlic, oil, and loads and loads of lovely northern spices. Right, but undoubtedly, guys, star of the show, k a n o m t i n nam n i a o Northern Thailand's most famous dish. If you're in Northern Thailand, I should say Northern Thailand's most eaten dish. So we've got pork ribs that have been stewed down for hours by the looks of things. That is going to fall straight off in a d o a n a o fermented bean cake and tomato broth with shrimp paste and chilies. w e got again. Oh, look at the size of that rib. Look, that's what's given the stock its flavour, and you're also getting that flavourful. Fall off the bone meat. It's in a tomato broth with rice noodles, hence the nickname Thai bolognese. All right, guys. So first things first, I want to try this nam n i a o Now put all the bits in. Oh, mate. So where she's from, Chiang Rai, is where this dish is famous for. Like. Chiang Sen is next to Chiang Kong, where I went and had the original k a o s o i Nam Na noodles, which are closer to this than the actual creamy k a o s o i that you would associate with Northern Thailand. So this is a little bit closer, I think, to the original recipe. Very, very thick, very, very spicy, and very, very heavy on the on that bean cake. It's like a it's like a dried fermented bean cake, and they pound that up with the with the Paste and fry it off to make the sauce. Now you've got big chunks of stewed tomato as well. That just exploded in my mouth. Nice bit of sweetness. Nice bit of acidity. Get one of those ribs. We'll just clean that bone without a problem. Wow. That's a pretty special nam nia. Anything that's been stewed down for hours. And it's next to a bone. That's where the flavour's at. This is decent. It's not too heavy at all on the shrimp paste, 
It's very, very salty though, very, very savoury, which I've cut with the lime and the chilli. You're going to be hard pushed to find a better northern side than this in Asok, I assure you. This is one of my favourite dishes of all time. I just love the textures of this dish and the spice that you get from it. And I don't mean a heat spice, although there is heat obviously coming from the from the dried chilies. I mean the spice mix, the coriander, the DP, maquen, all the different spices. There's not a great deal of offal going through this, which I prefer. I just like the odd bit. And by adding the cup more these crispy crunchy light pork scratchings even if I do say so myself it's an absolute genius move right now guys right this one's for all my Thai viewers just so I don't get any more complaints like I got at what side floating market I do understand that you're supposed to eat this with rice or at least sticky rice because otherwise the flavor is going to be a bit too bold I was eating nam prick there without any rice that's because I already know the flavor like so I'm not I know I was cutting down on rice basically but I know I've eaten so many of these dishes that I know whether it's still gonna to be too sweet or still gonna to be too salty or still gonna to be too spicy when I put it on rice but for all you first timers eat it with rice Right, and last but certainly not least, we've got the Geng Hot, which is, I said it was a mix up of curry. So basically, this dish originated in celebrations like uh, monasteries, and it was made of leftover food. So they'd stir fry Wun Sen with some, maybe some red curry and Hung Le curry. So they're leftover Hung Le curry sauce. And Hung Le is, uh, a lot of people call it a Burmese curry. It's like an Indian Burmese spiced, uh, curry with no coconut milk and pork belly which I'll show you in a sec I'll go over there and show you it in the pot and use some of that sauce and you stir fry it to, it's like on the second and third day of festival when they've had loads of food and they need to do something with it rather than throw it away but it's a funky kind of fermented noodle dish that is going to take some getting used to for some of you That is extra funky, that is like... Dong means like pickled or fermented. That is super, super strong. The pickled bamboo, it, to the point where it's all I can taste, I can't even taste the curry powder. It's a little bit overpowering and I do prefer this dish hot, even though it's a, traditionally, as I said, a leftover dish, I would prefer this hot. All right guys, back to my laugh. I can't finish off on that one, can I? Yeah, guys, that's on another level good. That Nam Niao was lum, kana, lum, pete. Like, you wouldn't, I, I wouldn't come home with that if I got it in Chiang Rai or Chiang Mai. Serious. Come on, Gab. Lum, pete. Lum, kana, Gab. Right, as if this side of the market wasn't big enough, I'm going to take you through this little alleyway and it opens up into another one that's exactly the same size, full of food. Hello, mate. Hello, Tom. Hello, mate. All right, guys, I think this side might be even bigger. There's, uh, there's quite a few farang in here that look like they work here. We've got e sand joints, another cow more, Chinese noodles with wontons. Everyone seems to be bang on this one. The gate of Ong. Yeah, I think this one's definitely a bit of us, guys. Okay.
it looks really good guys but she clearly didn't understand me when I said I want it pip pip so I'm gonna put a little bit of Nam Jim Jow on the side all right guys so let's take a look at this right so I'm guessing there's a Muslim connection there because of the rice but it's like so it's like East and Muslim hybrid now I've asked for Nam Thok which is uh, like lap, the same as lap. So, toasted rice, chili, lime juice, and fish sauce. I mean, there's loads of toasted rice, but there's no next to no chili on here. I'll let them off with that because I am farang and I'm in assault. Let's have a look at that chicken. The chicken looks juicy as guys. Look at that crispy skin. We got some hom diao, nam jim jiao as well. And I got that on top of kao mok which is why I think it's a Muslim place because Kalmok is a Muslim dish alright let's get some of everything guys the chicken is lovely the the sauce on top is a touch sweet the chicken's really really moist really tender i don't know what's throwing me off i don't know if it's because it's like the east sand sauce on top of the cow mock rice or it's the fact that it's sweet but something's throwing me off a little bit guys that's personal preference the chicken's really good the rice is really good but that lot the lot dressing's not really doing it for me guys Right, I'll try it with the Nam Jim. See, that's weird for me. I don't know if it's just my palate, how I'm tasting it, but the Nam Jim Jiao, which is palm sugar, fish sauce, and tamarind mainly, is actually less sweet than the lark. I think what is throwing me off, though, is the on top of the Kalmok rice, which I asked for, so this is user error. I think it doesn't help that I asked for pet pet and she gave me no chili at all. But as I said, farang in Asso, that's probably what they're used to. She probably thinks I've just got off the plane. Um, if I ask for pet pet in Sombre, I can't walk the next day. Do you know what as well? It's probably I'm a little bit full from the first from the first stop. The chicken's excellent. So if you're down there and you want some roast chicken. Mate, just get the chicken. Just get the chicken and normal rice, or chicken and cow mock rice. See, normal people, normal people would end their their little trip with a dessert. Not me, my friends. Right. So this is a stall I was actually recommended from a page that I follow. So he's actually got uh, the the oven as well so we just had it in the other place he's actually roasting his own stuff in here as well and that is why I wanted to come to this market in the first place Let's just go chilly. I'm not gonna bore you. You guys must be bored seeing me dress up noodles. Let's go a little bit of uh, chilli vinegar as well. Bet none of you guessed I was gonna do that. I think this sauce is gonna be a bit sweet. All right, off we go. I'll tell you what, it's like musical chairs in here. I've moved about seven times since I just went up and got this bowl. All right, let's try that crispy pork. Yeah, that's the stuff. Mm. Mudang good as well. Mm. The Mudang, nowhere near as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super, super sweet. You guys must be bored of me eating uh, crispy pork and dressing up noodles by now. But 
I like to compare noodles, the same noodles from different shops. I actually love noodle soup. You know, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that stock in. So, it's definitely not the oven. I'll be honest with you, the chicken weren't really for me. Um, the chicken was nice, but the rest of it I just didn't really like. But, you know, I'm not gonna slate a lady that's been cooking for like 40 odd years. This though, this is solid. Very, very solid. I am getting a little bit full now. All right, hands down, the best thing about this is the actual noodles. The sauce is pretty good, it's not too sweet. Mm. Noodles are cooked perfectly. The dumplings are pretty good. I love the garlic oil that's all over them. The egg, as you know, if you follow me guys, you will know how much I love a gummy egg. And the red pork, nice and tender and well seasoned. The crispy pork, I'm not gonna lie, is a bit tough, like it's a bit hard to get through, which as Rick Stein used to say, that's why God gave you teeth so you could chew, but that is a bit chewy. But I'm gonna, just from the look of it and how highly rated this place is, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and just say there was something wrong with his oven today. All right guys, so all in all, pretty extraordinary. That whole thing cost me 250 baht, which is about $7, I think, um, or just over a five or probably six quid at the moment. So for Asok, for city prices, that is pretty, pretty unbelievable. As you can tell by how packed this place is, it's obviously pretty decent. I think the second and the third stop, I was a bit too full. The third one, his roast pork can't always be that tough because the rest of the noodles were put together perfectly. So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, but just in general, this is somewhere that I would get excited about coming much more than Terminal 21, guys. So as I said in the intro, forgo Terminal 21, get yourself down to Ruam Sub market i will stick links with directions in the description box below but just get off at sukhumvit mrt or you may be staying in the area it's a great little spot to come if you are in the area i would not travel to come here myself but if i'm next time i'm in sukhumvit i will come back and try some different dishes i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know if you're going to come down here and try it yourself for now guys that's all from me and i will see you in the next one